Hi, this is Julie with North Georgia GMRS Network, and today I have Justin sitting here with me. He is the Net Control Coordinator for North Georgia, and um, he's going to give you a little glimpse of what he does for the network as well. So thank you for joining us today. Well, if you recall, that's a title that you were given <laughs> at Dauphin Island by mm. Gary Beckstead that's right. about, about 100 years ago. It, it feels like 100 <laughs> years ago, that's for sure. So yeah, that is true. So uh, uh, these days, net control is, uh, um, you know, Thursday nights obviously is, is our big net. But there's, there's a number of other nets that are happening uh, through the week as well. So we have on Monday nights, every other Monday, we have the rabbit hole net. Um, we, we think that there may be some changes afoot with the rabbit hole net. So we have some announcements that we may be making with regard to that soon. Um, on Tuesday nights, we have the Skywar net on the northern region of the network. And um, that, that I think we have some improvements, some incremental adjustments to make there. But I expect that the Skywar net will continue to improve and, and get to the place where, where we want that to be. And uh, on Wednesday nights, we have the ERC net, which is simply a closed net for ERC check-ins. It's a brief net, about 15 minutes typically, sometimes a little more. Um, and Thursday nights, uh, you have you have Jeff and I and whoever else is in the room uh, for uh, for the Thursday night uh, regional net. Um, so as a net control coordinator, uh, I see my role as uh, working with the various net control operators that we have to uh, to maintain high standards for uh, content, high standards for presentation, and uh, to deliver a, an outstanding net program week after week. And you do an excellent job with that. We have been very fortunate in that you have been able to find individuals to come alongside and who want to join you and, and sit in there with you on Thursday evenings. And, and that's, a key, that's a key to the accomplishments that we've made is being, being able to find uh, contributors that are, are not just interested but passionate about playing a role in, in what we do and contributing in a meaningful way uh, to move us forward and to advance both in, in production quality and also mm -hmm. in, in uh, just, just in maintaining a level of, of interest in the program itself. Um, it's one thing to sit behind a mac microphone and talk with people for hours about whatever the topic may be. But when you can engage in a depth of conversation with a number of people, you can bring out ideas and concepts that could be brand new, that, that we've not even considered before. Um, if, if you're the, 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 knowledge, the knowledgeable person in that conversation, somebody else can come in with ideas that are completely new and can really open up your, your eyes to whatever that topic might be. So it's important that we stay open to all of those things. I absolutely agree with that. Uh, for example, when I interviewed John Wolf and his approach to you about, hey, I have an idea of how to make your logins a lot easier on you and with less errors. So with you being open to that idea and giving it a try, that's been a game changer. And we have a lot of people who have been able to contribute significantly to the organization in a way to make it so much better than it was yesterday. Th that's true. And the reality is, is that it takes more than a personality on the air. It takes more than an engineer who builds networks, uh, builds repeaters and networks them together. It, it takes more than somebody who's capable of doing production work or climbing. It's a team effort and, and having, uh, having the right players on that team and the diversity of skills that are involved uh, are how we accomplish the things that we accomplish. And we've got more team players in, in the works. Um, there are interested people with skills and uh, backgrounds that I think that we can leverage to advance the network even further in, in production quality, uh, in radio quality, and in, in just what we do as a, as a net program. 
uh, I think we have a lot of opportunity. And there again, you know, we're constantly watching and looking for areas where we can make small adjustments and, and big improvements. So that's, uh, that's part of what happens. I love that. Well, again, this gives our viewers and our listeners just a little glimpse of what goes on behind the scenes. And as you can tell, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Thank you so much for sitting with us today. And um, I hope you guys will tune in for our next interview. You know, we're having fun. And, uh, and that's the key here is I think all of us are engaged in what we do because it's, it's fun. And we can, we can offer that fun to our listeners and viewers. And uh, thanks for having me. Thank you.